I have an excellent sense of direction within my own space as other people get lost. It's a constant problem. 89 rooms was the total count. We were still finding them. <laughs> when I first saw it, it was scary and it was gray. And I just went, why am I looking at this? <laughs> but in the end, it was a great opportunity for me for a few years to have an enormous amount of space. You know, I just got out a color chart and picked, you know, 75 colors. I have to have a certain comfort level to really just exist and paint constantly, which is what I do. <laughs> I'm more inspired by nature, so my studio always has the birds in it. Come on, good girl. No, they don't want to come today. <laughs> and this is the bunny room. I discovered in some cheesy Chinese restaurant reading the menu that I'm the sign of the rabbit. This is the Blanco glass collection. It's just so uplifting. You just can't be in a bad mood in front of glass. <laughs> It's not a constant obsession, oh, I've got to find this, because you've got so many different themes going. This is the brown room. This is the Ganesh shrine. This is the monkey room. And these are my guardian paintings. These are all monkey eyes. I think of them as spiritual protectors. And this is a room of portraits. I'm doing a new series of doves. I realized I've ignored my doves for too long. These are cockatoos. And I always work in series, so this is a new theme for me. This is where I hide. <laughs> it's a friend of mine, John Kelly, painted that. You know, if there's one room undone, I can't sleep. <laughs>